What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's video I'm going to be showing you my APC mini chopper frame. So I went ahead and picked this up for 60 bucks around a month ago I want to say. And it was a yellow frame. It had different sets of wheels on it and it had a different motor. Um, well it didn't actually come with a motor. What normally would have won here, which I cut the engine tabs off, was a 49cc um, vertical mount 2 stroke. And that didn't make much power. So I wasn't going to put a bolt in one of those. Uh, you can buy them on Amazon and just chuck it in. I didn't want to do that. I want to do something a little different. Uh, so what I went ahead and do is I've seen this engine swap done many times. Uh, I took a Honda GX120, which in short for you guys down in the States, it's basically a Predator 212, just a smaller CC rating. And as you can see, it doesn't have an air filter on it because I went ahead and ordered a performance air filter kit uh, to make it fit in that frame better. And it also does not have an exhaust on it right now and that's because I'm currently getting a motorized bike exhaust to custom weld uh, so it'll fit a little bit better and come out by the rear tire but I'm just gonna do a walk around of the build it's not done obviously it does run the, mo the motor runs great um, but like I said we just have some high-rise bars which uh, accommodate bigger riders and this thing's actually like a really good cruiser overall uh, I went ahead and hooked up the brakes on it. It doesn't have a barrel nut like most levers do. So I might swap that out in the near future. Uh, for now, I just chucked on a, a pocket bike uh, throttle, which, you know, does the job pretty good. Coming down to the triple clamps, they're completely stock. Nothing done there. Uh, I went ahead and repainted the fender itself. And got a brake setup down there with a standard pocket bike brake. Now, the thing that gets confused uh, whenever, whenever anybody looks at this is it has pocket bike wheels and you may be asking why would i do that well that's because when i picked up this frame uh, it had a really weird rear wheel setup and i had no idea what he was doing but the rear wheel was just a custom made one and it wasn't going to work for my application so what i did is i uh, picked up a set of pocket bike wheels threw some slick tires on it now i do live on a dirt road so that'll be fun but they definitely look cool and the thing about it is, is that it gives the bike a really low stance, which is what I'm going for. Right now, I don't have fork boots, so I gotta go ahead and uh, get me some of those. I'm sure I can find them off like a junk bike or something uh, to really, you know, make the forks look good. And the thing about forks is I was gonna paint these, but because these move up and down and it would just scrape off the paint and not look good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get some boots, throw those on there, and that'll cover up the rust. These looked really bad when I got them. I tried polishing them with compound and everything like that, and they did come out pretty decent. And you can see it has some little um, platform foot pegs, which, you know, are gonna be really comfortable opposed to the ones that are just kind of a, you know, a normal pocket bike foot peg, especially for their style of frame. The rear shock is another thing I went ahead and uh, had to custom make. Well, not custom make, just go ahead and find a different one because, again, th there was some weird welding going on and it didn't have a rear shock when I got it. So this is off a just a generic uh, Walmart bike and I went ahead and set the preload quite stiff on it and it works out great for this uh, mini bike frame. The seat is original. I just went ahead and threw some, like, uh, Marhide leather paint on it just to freshen up a little bit. The sissy bar is re-chromed. It's not actual chrome. It's paint chrome and it still looks pretty decent. It has a little reflector back there uh, on the backrest. Now you're probably wondering about now is why is there two gas tanks? This one I went ahead and left on because I think it fills out the frame really well because these frames originally had a fake engine in the front and then the two-stroke in the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that in there and I'm just gonna run, like I'm gonna disconnect the fuel line and just run this tank here. So that way I can fill it up because with the tank cover on, I can't even get in there to fill it up. So that's definitely a thing to consider when building one of these. So guys, that's the end of the mini bike review. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and throughout, like I said, I didn't want to record this because I just wanted to put my head down and work on it. Uh, I didn't feel like recording anything on it just because it's not a build, you know, it doesn't, you can't just put it together. You really need to custom make such as the exhaust, you need to custom make an engine plate. And I'm more um, focused on talking about the motorized bike because that's what I have experience with. So eventually this channel will, you know, branch on to other things, but I'm trying to keep it to the motorized bikes as much as I can, just because most of my viewers are, you know, related to that. But I hope this guy, uh, hope this guy runs real well. Like I said, I don't know the top speed it's gonna do. 
Uh, I'm probably guessing around 40-ish miles an hour. The problem with this engine is it has a governor, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and bypass it. But once I do that, it'll cruise all day long. So guys, that's where I've been. Just been building this thing. Sorry for not uploading regularly, but that's it for this one. As always, make sure to comment, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next video. Peace, and have a wonderful day as always.